Hi and welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Aida and today we're going to be preparing arroz blanco y pollo guisado which is white rice and chicken stew. These are the ingredients we're going to be using for our dinner today. We have here chicken breast that with the skin and bone that I cut up in three chunks each piece. We have three large white potatoes, three large carrots, we have about half a cup of olives with pimentos inside. We're going to be using sofrito, which you can check out my first video on how to make this sofrito. Garlic powder, oregano, salt, adobo, cumin, one whole can of tomato sauce is eight ounces. In the back there we have canola oil and a packet of sazon. So let's get started. So now we're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna start is the white rice. So both of them can finish at the same time. So here I have three cups of long grain rice which I'm gonna put my st stove at seven. We pour enough water to cover it. And like in my previous video, if you can see, it'll be two fingers from rice to the top of the water. I have to try the trick that everybody does that never happens for me. It doesn't happen for me. So now we're going to put some salt in it. Salt is to your taste. I'm going to taste a little to see how it tastes. That's perfect right there. And we're going to add some canola oil. It'll be like a silver dollar size, or a little bit bigger, well, sort of. So now we're going to leave this here, and we're going to start making our pollo guisado, or our chicken stew. So I had this pan preheating already. At a five, so I'm gonna up it a little to seven. I am going to put some canola oil on the bottom. That would have been maybe a quarter of a cup. So now we're gonna put in the chicken. The chicken I season with adobo goya. If you can see, there's adobo goya, a little bit of cumin garlic powder and oregano so if you can see so we're just going to start placing our pieces As you can see, I cut up the chicken, the chicken breast in three pieces because they're too big and it's easier to serve. And this will easily feed six people, or in my house, four. So we're gonna brown the chicken, and we will be back when the chicken is brown. As you can see, the chicken is browning. It takes approximately three to five minutes because we're not cooking the chicken, we're just browning it. As you can see, it is still totally raw, but it has a nice brown color to it. So, now that the chicken is brown, our next step is Sofrito. This sofrito smells amazing. I just did it 
maybe half an hour ago. So let's start counting tablespoons since I really don't count. So one, two, three, four, maybe a little bit more, five. So remember, if you want to make this sofrito, go and check out my video of how to make sofrito. So now we have the sofrito in here and we're going to start sauteing the chicken in the sofrito. Don't worry, it does look green, but I promise you it'll taste amazing. It looks like alien chicken right now, but believe me, the end result will be awesome. This spoon is not working for me. Let me get so another this spoon. This one seems to be working fine now. So, the chicken is brown. It looks green. I know. So, for the people that have watched my video of how to make sofrito, and they did their own sofrito, that I recommend that you freeze it in cubes. That would have been four to five cubes. Okay, so now let's get back to the chicken. So it looks green, brown and green. So now the next step is going to be the whole can of tomato sauce. My preference is Goya. I don't know why, maybe it's a Puerto Rican thing, we all use Goya, but I love Goya. Only the tomato sauce, here you go. So we will put in a whole can of um, tomato sauce. I'm just cleaning out the bowl and this bowl says it's one cup full but I'm basically so we're one cup and a half into water so now we're gonna stir this around I know it still looks green but trust me it will not turn out green so the sauce we have right now is just the sofrito and the tomato sauce. So we're going to let this heat up a little bit. While we're heating that up, remember my favorite sazon, nor sazon con culantro y achote, seasoning with coriander and anato. Please, only one envelope. I see a lot of YouTube videos. Now I'm obsessed watching cooking videos on YouTube. And I see that they boil the chicken like if they were making a soup. And then after they boil the chicken, they take it out, dump all that liquid out, and then start building their stew. I make it all in one pot. So now we're going to sprinkle the sazon. Now instead of looking green it's gonna look great I wish you could smell this my cameraman is salivating right now see I'm fancy like that I have a cameraman okay so now you will see the difference in the sauce it has color you can still see the sofrito and the tomato. It's okay. Once you have, I'm just mixing it around to make sure that all the chicken pieces get coated with our sazon, our tomato sauce, and our um, sofrito. So the next thing I add is the carrots why do I add the carrots now because carrots are really tough the last thing I add is the potatoes so the carrots go in the half a cup of olives and if you see it has a little bit of liquid in it that's fine because it gives it a nice tangy flavor. So we add the olives. And 
and now we're going to add enough water. Oh, we have to check on our rice now. This can stay a little bit. So now we're going to check on our rice. You see the big bubbles? And the difference that you can easily move it. So almost all the water has evaporated. So now it's time to lower the temperature. Remember from seven, we're gonna lower it to two and a half, three. And we're just gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna wait 10 minutes. So okay, back to the chicken. Let me change spoons. So now we're gonna add, we're gonna make sure that almost all the chicken pieces are even and we're gonna squish it down. That's a technical term. You're allowed to use it, squish it down. And we're gonna add enough water just to cover this, the biggest piece of chicken. Oh my goodness, perfect. Okay, so now, we are going to let this boil. I have it now at a seven, so seven is fine. We're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna let it boil maybe 10 minutes by the, at the same time the rice is cooking. So in 10 minutes we're gonna stir the rice and we're gonna add the potatoes to our chicken. So it has been 10 minutes already and I tried a little bit of the sauce and it le needed a little bit more salt because the potatoes that I'm going to add now absorb the salt that's in, in the sauce. So here goes the potatoes. So now we're going to still leave it at a seven, but this time we're not gonna cover it. We're gonna let it boil 10 more minutes. The chicken is almost cooked already because one, we cut it in pieces. It's chicken breast. I mean, you can use any part of the chicken you want. I use chicken breast because I don't like the other pieces of the chicken, but I can show you that most of the chicken is already cooked, cooked through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to thicken the sauce by not putting a lid on it and we're going to still leave it at a 7. So now we're going to check our rice. So it's been 10 minutes and we from the bottom. I know people are going to say, you need new pot holders. I know. So, here's the rice. We're going to put the timer on for 10 more minutes. And then we will show you the finished product. Okay, so now everything is ready. Just to make sure. You can check your carrots, they're totally cooked. Your potatoes are totally cooked. Now, shut off the stove and we're gonna check the rice. So there you go. 30 minutes for arroz blanco y pollo guisado. White rice and chicken stew. So now I'm going to serve a plate so you can see how pretty it looks. I'll let that go there. This goes here. Looking for a nice piece for my daughter.
still hunting. Here you go. Nice. Arroz blanco con pollo guisado, white rice, and chicken stew. Thank you so much for watching. So if you liked if you liked my video, please please click like and subscribe to my channel. Buen provecho.